Hello and welcome, Sheriff here and today with a little special video, I hope I have enough time to do that because there are only one uh, objective left, but I just try. In, in this video I want to talk about a little about navigation and how navigation works on servers where you don't see yourself on the map. Many people uh, have basically are afraid of joining the tactical air war server for example because they don't uh, know how to navigate on the map especially in winter and we're lucky here in this example we are we have a winter map here if i remember correctly so to begin we select an airfield this has the neat advantage that you know where you where you are basically so we select an airfield we select our plane i take air four in this example i quick it real quick i don't think we need that much fuel but whatever select it with my standard stuff just a winter camo and here we go so uh, we are here on the wings of liberty server and on wings of liberty you generally have what the fuck is happening here um, a marker on the map and if i open the map you see the marker um, if you want to um, practice your navigation skills i recommend to turn that marker off with the i key yes i key and uh, that's it. So we're ramping up our engines and we start our sortie. So before you really take off, you should plan ahead what you are planning to do. And um, luckily for us, it's easy to plan this sortie because this is the last uh, objective we have. So I personally plan to fly at least in that direction. It's not far away, so it should be rel relatively easy to navigate to. Um, what you should do is not to navigate by directly landmarks, but to use landmarks to verify verify uh, your course. So what I'm gonna do is after takeoff, I will head east, and on the way I will try to pick up different landmarks, maybe the lakes here, um, for example, or the city to the north, which will be relatively hard to see, but this airfield, for example, but that we're gonna do on the way. But mainly it should be relatively easy to navigate as the airfield is perfectly west of our objectives, so after takeoff I just have to head east. Throttling up. Rolling forward, checking the left side if somebody is landing, seems to be clear. Throttling back to... So, all right, align with the runway, cannot be closed, fixing tailwheel, checking again, throttling up, here we go. So in this example here, I even have the compass disabled in my hut, normally you have, of course, a hut. Um, Compass in this case we have not. So, but really the most part of navigation is really flying after a special course. And we looked earlier on the map that I have to head east, maybe a little bit northeast. So I head there. Gears extended. 1.3 ATAR, checking the surroundings, if some, something nasty is here, but that's basically it. Really, that's um, the, the main, uh, the core thing in navigation, just holding a course uh, to the target and checking in between if you are still on course. So it's easier with a little bit of altitude to uh, navigate because you see more landmarks at once. So we're climbing a little bit and this map is really perfect to show navigation because everything looks the same. <laughs> a little bit too far to the north so I correct my course further to the east with my compass and my canopy here and my cockpit of course. 666, checking my 6. Um, if anybody types in 66 you should ever uh, always check your 6 as fast as possible. There is a town to my right hand side that we can check on the map. Let's level out a second. And that should be Lami Shino here in 0805 or maybe even uh, Celenovo, but I have to check that later. 
um, you should always um, basically verify if you see a town um, with with additional landmarks basically I see here now a city a, a longish city and I see there a longish city so this is the second city we saw on the map with this one here and if I'm right we should see a larger more bulkier city ahead and there it is so basically navigation is like you set a course you want to get to a target. You know that by looking on the map and looking at your compass. Then you fly that way and after a while you pick up landmarks on the ground. You open your map, you search for the landmark. You, you um, try to identify the landmark on your map. And after you did that you try to verify with additional landmarks in the vicinity if it's really that landmark you think it is. Ideally with multiple landmarks. So after I identify now that bulkier city ahead, which should be there, yes, there should be another city ahead, which is bulkier as well. I saw that on the map. See here, here's the bulky city and here's another bulky city. Maybe I have both already here. Yes, there's a city, there's a city. Those are t these two cities and I think we are over the target and I think I we are seeing already the first enemy here. Mm, could be a mono 9 however. Let's observe. He's diving on something. But right now we are already our, our objectives, our navigation worked. So what I'm going to do now is um, I want to fly to this train station. No, for no particular reason, but to, just to show how navigation works. So we're going to fly north until we see the big city here, Veliki Luki. So for that, I just fly perfectly north. because it's perfectly north on the map. I know I were in this area here by confirming my position earlier. I see a big city be below me that is certainly not the big city I was looking for but I try to confirm that by looking on the map that should be this city here. It's kind of large, it's not so small like this ones, those ones. Uh, but there is somebody. Uh, let's see what he does. And here we have a big city. That is Veliki Luki. He doesn't seem too interested in me at the moment. Yeah, I'm um, now as I'm now in the city at the city, I just head east because, like I said, I want to um, to get to the train station to check if there is something. So I just set an eastern course. Mission ends in 15 minutes. That's fine with me. I just want to show briefly how this works. I see a bomb crater down there, that should be part of the train station. So of course there are more sophisticated methods for navigation, but especially for fighter sorties this um, should be totally fine. Um, you just navigate like that, I mean you can use stopwatches and travel time, you can all do that if you want to do that, but for basic navigation you use as a fighter on a tactical air war it's totally sufficient. Even as a bomber I use that and I'm uh, really doing fine with it. So it's a really matter of practice I would say. Let's say I have here a dogfight and I don't know where I am. Sadly I know at the moment. But what I want to, I would do there then is just set a course for home roughly. So this is west 
in my case, I'm German here in this case, so I head west. And because I don't know where I am, I check my, more my surroundings than the actual course. I thought there is something. So I'm just head back. I just head to the west. And um, the main reason for this is, of course, I want to get home, so I fly in the direction where most likely an airfield of mine is. But even in the case, if my fuel runs out, I can belly land and I'm still not captured and my pilot is safe. Um, so it's not really important that you actually fly home, but to fly in the general direction. And in most cases, after a while, you see something which you can identify on the map and this uh, are we, uh, I'm explaining in a moment here. I see, for example, a big lake here to the left side. That is a lake. And if I, let's say, know that I was somewhere here and my doctor was here, that, that I know because I navigated it before, beforehand, before I got lost, then I assume that could be the lake he, uh, here. Oh, and I'm seeing that. So, so after seeing that lake, I looking around if I see additional landmarks and I see a big city here. So I see a lake here and this is the one nine. I see a lake here and I see a city here. So I'm flying between a lake and a city. Most likely I'm seeing this lake here and I'm flying or maybe it's in the city, this city and this lake here. Yeah, well, that's basically it. Um, now I found myself back on the map, so I'm, I can navigate. I see that my airfield is uh, here and I'm roughly here, so I look at my compass and I would fly now in this direction, so that is a course of uh, 240 roughly. And I would fly for a while until I see more landmarks below me, like another city. For example, here's a river and there is a railway or a road. Um, going over it. So I look on the map and here's a big railway and here's a river. So this could be really this junction here for example. Don't must be but could be. And I see two. I see two, one bridge here to the left at my wing and I see another bridge further to the uh, southwest. So I check again. And here we have two bridges. Here's a bridge and here's a bridge, so that could be this. So I'm just heading to 40. I see more lakes, little lakes and more... And, and the city below me, with a lake at it. You see here a lake at my wingtip, or at my wing, at my leading edge slot here. And there's this city behind that, so I take a look at the map. <coughs> and we take a look for the city with the lake. Don't fire it right now. That's fine. If you ever do, uh, some, don't find something on the map, just relax, you will find something else then. Yeah, more roads and more cities. This is another longish city that could be one we saw earlier. And here is the big, big, big lake. So we are really close to the airfield, I guess. Yeah, and there's our airfield already. There's our airfield. We were already here. That was, I guess, this Lamishino we saw with the lakes. And this is our so I'm back at my airfield. Of course, this is a relatively slow, um, small map. So uh, if you fly on tactical air war, you have to navigate of uh, more vast landscapes. But generally speaking, it's not getting really harder than that. If you ever get lost, um, just fly in the direction of home. Try to pick up landmarks. Try to confirm that landmark on your map with a second landmark, for example. And then set your course. And while flying that course, you check other landmarks again and you try to confirm that you are still on the way. That's basically all of it. Um, a, a few things before I quit the video uh, I wanted to add. Um, landmarks you can navigate with that can be different things. Of course we saw in the video you saw uh, towns, uh, lakes, rivers, roads, railroads, 
um, but you can navigate as well with woods and forests and you can navigate with um, river junctions that we didn't in this video so especially on the Moscow map you don't have that many distinct rivers there you have to work with river junctions what you should do as well is before you take off um, make sure uh, basically take a look for landmarks you have to cross to get your tar to your target uh, that makes things much easier then of course you have the sun if you see that it is early morning and in this case it is I think three o'clock um, in the afternoon so the sun is in the west so if you get want to get home and you are in a dogfight and uh, you know that this is afternoon head to the sun and you fly home and on the other hand if you are Russian and you have to fly back fly away from the sun or in the morning to the sun so the sun, the sun can be really really helpful as well I hope you enjoyed that small tutorial it was live I know and my um, of course I don't speak as fluently and when I'm live that's clear as well but I hope you enjoyed that a little bit um, I see you in the next one